YouTubers, vloggers, new place, boxes, unmade bed, shit everywhere. And it's bright and early, I'm about to take my first call actually. So my calls start, they keep me busy while I'm doing cardio, which I'm about to go hit. Um, I'm with leg day today. So let's uh, have a look over my morning supplements and what I take uh, quickly before we go hit my cardio, Stairmaster. Uh, today I'm only gonna do the cardio once today, which is 30 minutes fasted. I've dropped my cardio back to 30 minutes twice a day now, because things are moving pretty good. So, um, food's still up, still rolling through, and I'm gonna smash a cardio session this morning. Hit some abdominal work as well, which I'll show you guys. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get to these calls. So, I'm gonna be doing that while I'm doing cardio, but I'll check in with you guys while I'm doing it. And push my meals a little bit later today, which I'm gonna show you too. Usually have a meal and then come on in to train, but I'm gonna actually set it up today so I'm actually having a couple meals now because I am getting a little de depleted. Although I'm on a good amount of food, I am a little bit depleted, so I wanna make sure I'm still performing well because I'm getting a little bit weaker. So, leg day is important today. So I'm gonna make sure I get a good film for you guys today, good update, and uh, let's quickly see my supplements. Anabolics, Damo, they've sent me this um, as a thank you for using my gym, so I thought I'd give them a whirl. Um, I've been buying their product since. Really, really like it. Uh, gets me going a bit like a thermo first thing in um, I just down this quickly. I do like to hydrate before, so with this. I down it really quick. <clears throat> and as I'm driving to the gym, it doesn't break you faster than essential neos. I don't take BCAAs. But it doesn't break you faster than essential neos. So I have the essential neos now. I fill it right up. Uh, and I usually drink about just sip on this, you know, while I'm doing my cardio as I need. And you know, a good liter of water while I'm doing it as I warm up in that first five minutes. And then kind of let that carry through while I'm doing abs as well. So probably a good liter and a half of water. Then we'll come back and hit my first meal. Three client calls done. They have good clients, man. Abs stretching. I used to hate abs and stretching, but I really like it post cardio. It's kind of like my chill out time. Um, you know, it knows me personally, I'm a fan of yoga and things like that, but you know, I'm tired and short for time, so for me, um, a bit of abs, 50 reps total, so it could be 10 sets of 5, it could be 2 sets of 25, whatever. And I kind of just go by feel, whatever I feel like doing. I'm liking the decline sit up at the moment. When I fatigue on that, I'll move to like a, a yoga ball crunch or a cable crunch. And then uh, just in between sets, you just see me stretching. Fish and rice, sauerkraut, my favorite. I heard some fucking spastic the other day comes to me and goes, oh, you, you, you sound so sarcastic when you said fish and rice for breakfast that you don't like it. It's like, what the fuck else would I eat? Steak and rice, off season, fish and rice, pre-season. I like barramundi. Like, is it weird that fish is eaten around the world for breakfast except Australia where we have to eat 
Nutri-Grain and fucking processed cereals with a protein shake, that's, that's, that's a normal fucking breakfast where I like to eat some sort of lean meat and when I'm prepping for a show, I'll use barramundi uh, from Papa Vinicos, of course. Like, and I'm seen as weird. Anyway, it's my new place. Kathy's in the background. Kids are doing their thing. Check out that view, man. All right, my YouTubers, I'm just chilling out. Had to go see my Crohn's specialist today. He doesn't like it that I haven't seen him for a while. Oh, you haven't seen me for a year. Surely you've been in hospital and your symptoms are getting way worse. Nah. I'm not someone that claims I can fix crimes or anything like that. But one thing like when you look at all gut health, from a crack addict to a bodybuilder to a single mother to a my dad who's 80, all shapes and sizes, what do we have in common? We all eat and we all stress. There's other things we have in common with. We had to talk about negative things, like some people do drugs and whatever it is, but we had to say everything that we all have in common would be food and stress, which is two things I really monitored when I went this through this process. So, it'll be interesting to see, because we're gonna do some scans in a few weeks, which I booked in for. And I wanna give you guys the update on that, because he thinks I'm way worse. I'm in the severe case. I'm in the severe case so badly that I'm probably gonna have to get surgery. And he's surprised that since the year that I've seen him and the no medications I've taken, that he's told me to take that I haven't had any flare-ups or been put in hospital or whatever. He actually had no answer for it, but I don't want to undermine him. I just like to prove it with action. So anyway, I've had my two meals this morning and I usually train on one meal, but I've been a bit fatigued. But it's funny, I've had two meals, I'm actually more fatigued. I'm sitting on the couch now. I'm tired. <laughs> Maybe because of the legs, I don't know. Um, leg day today will be leg extensions, leg curls, hack squat, I'll probably move into a pendulum squat. I'm moving, I'm gonna put quads and hands together now. I am fatiguing a bit. So I'll put quads and hands together today. So I'll probably do a hip hinge of some sort, like a good morning hyperextension. Uh, pair that with some adductors. And then if it all goes well, FST7 on leg press. Um, and then I'm going to be putting together my other accessory hamstring work with back. So, um, switch the training out two days on one day off. I'm doing my first day today. I've got a massage today too, which I'll get on film for you guys this time. It's just hard, because when I train legs, I'm in a different realm. The pump should be real today. I've got some extra calories in me um, than what I usually would. Yeah, I just don't like training after a couple of meals. I actually get slower, but I reckon once I probably warm up and get going. I should be sweet. I'm gonna do a check-in. I'm gonna do a check-in now. Let's see how I'm looking. I'm sitting at 123 kilos. Fasted. Uh, after a low day yesterday of uh, 3,200 calories. It's low for me. I'm gonna double up cardio session, so. Um, Probably just feeling the after effects of that. Maybe shouldn't have done cardio this morning after all. But um, I'll go pose now, get my head right. I feel myself training. No, 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 no talking to you guys. And if you're wondering about the pink nails, it's an eye. Okay, don't start on me. All right, 
Check in time. Let's do it. <laughs> train wigs but I just wasn't feeling it I was fatigued I'm not gonna lie I've had some gut problems today <laughs> <clears throat> I say that as I burp um, look I'm fatigued but I'm ready to go and I ate some chest and biceps got a good workout in I'll get some food in tonight just bank up on the meals I'm probably not gonna hit any cardio because I'm at that point where, look, I'm almost ready to go. I've got the lower back and the obliques to come in. So I'll hit legs tomorrow and yeah, just be smart about it. Right now, it's not about feeling guilty. I lay on the couch there for an hour today and it wasn't my head feeling that at all. It was my body. So I listened to the body, <clears throat> took the initiative and you know when you're being a bitch, so I came in, hit a good chest and bicep session, early night sleep tonight, and I'll smash legs tomorrow. Uh, I'll get a bit of a shop this afternoon, just a few extra little bits and pieces I add to my meals. I'm gonna show you my final meal to the day as well, and how I kind of wrap up my, my evening routine with my evening supplements as well. So I've had a quite a busy, productive day today for you guys. Uh, for now, uh, I have just had a meal, smashed my barramundi and rice, Papa Mac rose of course. So I hit a 10 minute digestion walk, just to ease the gut. And then uh, home for a nap, calls, dinner time, routine time. And you guys are all part of it, you're stuck with me. A bit shaky. No selfie stick. 
Uh, nighttime routine. Just had my steak and rice, I'm a bit tired. As I said, I killed it today. So, evening sups. Really, really good here from Prima Volix. Everyday sleep. Always mix that with a scoop of uh, essential amino acids. And these have been great sleepers from Alpha Breed. So, they're my kind of three of my nighttime routine. Um, I have that about half an hour before I go to bed. I usually go for my 10 minute digestion walk. Um, it's dark now, you can see, because you can kind of just see this view, hopefully. You guys can see it? No, you can't. What if I lighten it a little bit? Look at that, yeah. Check that shit out. That's the view to my new place. So, I'm signing off today for this vlog. I'm tired. I keep forgetting to do shit. I'm getting better at it. So forgive me. My next vlog will be more detailed and more detailed because I'll start loving the, the sound of my own voice and my own head popping up on this damn camera. But this is uh, my night time. I just kind of reflect now, do some journaling, read, read a little bit, and just think about the next week. I've got an hour in a few days. Reflect how I could have been better today and what I'm excited for tomorrow, which will be legs. I won't be shout this time. But now looking all serious, you know, like I'm enjoying these vlogs. I'm enjoying this prep. It's been super, super easy. Almost too easy. And um, I love sitting here in my new place and just reflecting on how good life is. It's the best job in the world. I chose to do this. Got great clients, great family, great friends. And I'm signing off for another day. I'll get you a vlog in a few days time. Keep tuned, and until next time.